digital romance TV. Hey folks, how are you? It's Michael Fiore and uh, Nora? Blake? That's you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I don't know. Anyway, hi, we're from <laughs> digitalromance.tv and today we are talking about the four things to never text a woman. Who are you? Who am I? I don't even know who I am anymore. So the four things that never text a girl or a woman. A woman. Um, yeah, well it says girl on the paper. <sighs> I said woman, you said girl over there. So um, texting, something we've done a little with. We have that whole text the romance back and text your ex back and text your pet into college or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, the number one thing, guys, to never ever text a girl, and I know you want to because you're so proud of it, but she doesn't want to see your cock. I prom not like that anyway. Not a picture of it. Not a picture of it and not without like actual prompting and not like the first time she sees your penis should not be on her cell phone. And also you should have a pretty good relationship going with her. You should have have something where it's not just a dick at that point. Um, it should I, be a cock that she really likes. Yeah, she at that point. Because penises are not that attractive by themselves. Yeah. Like out of context, even the most gorgeous penis is just really not that attractive. She doesn't want to see it. I promise. We get billions of emails about this. Um, I know that a lot of guys have this feeling in their mind, like from watching porn, that they're going to show off their member, and like this girl is going to be like, oh my. God, that's amazing. It doesn't happen that way. I promise you, it simply doesn't. Keep it in your pants. You're better off sending her some like sexy, like romantic or like, you know, even smutty kind of like actual words that engage her imagination in some way than sending uh, a flesh pillar over the internet. Not a good idea. Good. Number two is the nothing text. What's the nothing text? What's up? What's up? How you doing? Yo, you're hot. Yeah, any text that a frat boy would send to a girl, you don't want to send. This happens all the time. And a lot of these texts are just like, they're conversation. This is also, and I would like to put out this, Killers. this is also the, uh, the never send this as the first text over uh, oh, Tinder yeah. or okay, anything where there's Cupid text or any like yeah, texting actually, or messaging. Yeah, a friend of mine, ever. A, a female friend of mine who was on OkCupid okay, was just showing me a bunch of the things she gets all the time. And so many You're of so them, pretty. Yeah, what's up? You're hot. I've been looking for you everywhere. Like, really? I was hiding. Um, I was hiding just from you, friend. A good text has to be one that has a question to it or actually starts a conversation in some way or gives a hook where the person you are sending a text to has something to respond about. Right. Right? Because, like, if you get, what's up? What do you respond with? Nothing. The sky. Okay. Well, that's the end of the conversation at that point. It's supposed to actually ask them a question. Um, yeah, number three, my favorite, actually. Why didn't you text me back? Which just goes for men and women, so by the wrong. way. Like the whole like just anytime you're sending the desperate like and don't I, scream it over text well, there you go. Just like that. I, what's all capitals with seventeen question marks at the end? Um, anytime like why didn't somebody text you back? Because they didn't. Because they didn't see the text. Because they were ignoring you. Because they were at a movie. Because any number of reasons why they didn't text you back. The best attitude you can have when dealing with this whole dating thing is to assume the best yep. at that point. Even if it's not true, simply assume the best and you'll be better off. She didn't text you back because she didn't text you back. If you don't get a response, you wait a day and then you can text again. That's the rule. If you still don't get a response, you can maybe wait, wait a couple days and try again and then you're done because you're just not going to get a response at that point. I mean, depending on where you are in a relationship. Yeah, of course, like, yeah. Well, if yeah. you're actually dating, that's a whole other thing. And then, of course, number four is the I'm done text. Um, you can't break up over text. You can't, like, you, you can't break up over text. You can, like, if you're just, like, you know, we're, like, flirting a little bit but never went on a date, you can yeah. kind of say, I'm oh, not interested. Yep. Or if you only had one date, and you go, like, you know, somebody, yep. you'd be like, no, not really. I, I wasn't feeling it. Not yep. my thing. But if you have, like, an actual, some kind of relationship with somebody, then breaking up with them over text makes you a douchebag. Yeah. It's just a fact. So there you go. That's it. Four things you should never text. If you have things that you should uh, that you think are even better that you should Oh, text. I have a bonus one. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. You should never say I love you the first time. The first text. time. The first time you say I love you should not be over text. It should be with your mouth. Or maybe, <laughs> yeah, it or maybe other body parts. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know. So there you go. Uh, leave some comments below and then go and watch more videos at digitalromance.tv. Bye-bye. If you've got a cell phone in your pocket or purse right now, then you've got everything you need to create incredible romance and passion with the man or woman in your life at the push of a button. Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash TRB to see Michael Fiore make an entire audience of women on The Rachel Ray Show swoon and learn how to use tiny little text messages to have the relationship of your dreams.